in France, they don't have air conditioning as often in, in uh, their homes. So they'll usually kind of manage their blinds and with, you know, the sun rising and setting to um, control the climate in their house, either opening or closing windows, um, letting in sunlight or not. Um, uh, not as many people have computers, uh, so they'll go to internet cafes to use computers. Um, they don't have washing machines as often or dishwashers. I don't think we ever had a dishwasher on my mission. Um, only a few apartments of mine had washing machines, so we would, oh sorry, only a few apartments had dryers. So we would always wash our clothing and then we had to air dry it. They had little racks that you'd hang your clothing on. And a lot of French people do that as well. They have, hang, you know, they'll hang it outside their window like you kind of see in movies. Um, a lot of people, they will have their gardens out their window hanging on a little ledge or whatever that they set up. and Because they don't, they're all in these big apartment complexes and they don't have garden spaces. Um, they'll usually do grocery shopping it's kind of changing to be more like the US. They used to do it every day, but now they're more, um, it's becoming less of a regular thing, but they'll usually go and pick up fresh bread each day. Um, everybody will go to their butcher shop or their bread shop. Um, they have pharmacies everywhere you go. So here it's kind of hard. You have to look for a pharmacy. Um, in France, they have pharmacies on every street, every corner. They have hair cutteries everywhere. And so it's just part of their life that you're out and about. In the U.S., it's kind of like we do our thing, we go to work, we come home, and then we set up social gatherings. But in France, it's kind of like everywhere you do go, everything you do is social. Um, and you see people and you get to know them. Um, everybody, well, so many people take public transportation. It's cheaper in France. They don't usually buy phone plans. Um, they'll buy phones and then they'll pay by the minute or by the hour or whatever. So say I bought 30 minutes or I bought five hours for the week. And so it's kind of, they don't have like a monthly plan that they pay for. Um, Yeah, they don't work as much. Um, they get a lot more holidays. I think it's like 35 hour work weeks, not 40. I, I think they might do 40, but they definitely get a lot more holidays um, than we do and a lot more days off of work than we do, that they celebrate and that they do. Um, in school, kids go to school longer. They go from like I think eight or nine in the morning until five in the afternoon, in the evening. And um, they do get, at least in some places that I went, I think it was all over France, they get a half day on like Wednesdays where they end at like 12. Um, and so they just have like a different sort of view on, on how to school as well. I know that in school you're expected to never talk. You sit and you listen. Um, people, when they would learn English, it was a lot more writing oriented, not speaking oriented. So a lot of French people are very good at writing, um, a lot are very good at understanding, but that they have trouble speaking. But most French people know to, how to speak at least a little bit of English. Um, they also love American music and so everywhere you go you'll hear American songs they would have their a few famous French people that that you'd hear the music there of the day but you know in America you never hear French songs there's maybe one or two that people there's a few nowadays that Americans see and they understand or that they they look up and they hear about but in France American music is huge so those are the only big things about culture and lifestyle um, vacations and holidays that I can think of.